to my photography channel, the old English teacher, blah, blah, blah. Hope you're doing okay. I always mean it when I say that. Um, it's not been a lot going on in my photography world lately, but in the news, guys, and I got a little rant today with Nikon over this new, this new ZFC retro camera. Now, there's nothing wrong with making a retro camera, understand. I mean, there is a nostalgia there, but, 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 but. A retro mirrorless camera. That's almost like an oxymoron, don't you think? Um, Nikon, you need to worry about the future, not the past. Um, <laughs> you need... I get real tickled thinking about it. It's so funny. You know, unless... There, at this point in time, it's useless to try to make a retro camera. Sure, later on, you know, but Nikon... Uh, needs to worry about getting their butt in gear with this APS-C line. They're basically discontinuing everything, and the only thing they've got right now is just a Z50. And it's a good camera. It's a known good camera, and it fits really good into what would have been the, the you know the D5600 uh, place. Uh, you know, and it's time to upgrade that rascal, too. It's been out for a little while. You know, you need to probably get the flippy screen and jump up to 24 megapixels with that camera. Uh, it, it, the Z50 needs a, an upgrade of some kind. Uh, maybe two card slots. Call it the Z52. But a retro camera in this time. I mean, mirrorless camera is supposed to represent a forward leap in technology, a forward leap to the future, and why, of all the problems Nikon has right now, why are they wanting to do this now? They really, seriously have got to get an entry-level APS-C mirrorless camera out there. They need that 499 with a kit lens, um, the Z30 or whatever they want to call it. Uh, they desperately need that camera. I mean, they really need that camera to get people back in to buy Nikon, get back into photography. It doesn't have to be awesome. You know, if it's 24 megapixels, it shoots okay video. It's got the focus system that the other mirrorless uh, cameras are using. You know, all that's okay. But you need that, that entry-level camera badly. And I think the Z50 kind of fits in the middle. And far as something that would take the place of the 7000 series um, they need that they need that prosumer super enthusiast uh, camera also and that definitely well I shoot APS-C professionally I have never ever 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 needed a full frame camera to shoot portraits with <laughs> they're fine the new, the new my D7200 is a masterpiece, you know, and I've got two others, um, never needed a full frame for that, so so they need to get that prosumer enthusiast uh, camera out there, the one that would take the place of the 7200, 7500s, and it definitely needs to be a two card slot, uh, SD card is fine, it doesn't have to have anything fancy, SD cards guys have worked really, really good, and I've had two fail in, in 10 years, so they really don't fail that often. Uh, and one of them was by letting my battery go dead. Don't ever, 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 ever run your battery dead because you can run a card. Um, and for the wildlife photographers, I don't know if they've got things ready to take the D500's place. The D500 is a legend. It's fast shooting uh, it is a known weapon it's a legend and it's hard to replace those things kind of like the d850s and things like that uh, but Nikon Nikon you just don't need to worry about a damn retro uh, camera it's not the right time yeah people are going to buy it and you can market it as the greatest vacation camera ever but you need there's no grip 
it's really thin. You know, I'm a big guy. I got big hands. Uh, it looks really, really uncomfortable. The pictures I've seen of the, of the retro cameras. Uh, they need a camera that's built like these Z cameras or like the 5600. You know, it's got that really, really, really nice grip, and you can hold heavier lenses. You know, with a retro camera, if you're out bird watching with a even a, a 70 to 3, if you've got a 70 to 300 on the end of that. It is going to wear your hands out. You need that grip, guys. You know, uh, so other than walking around with a 50 millimeter, 35 millimeter lens, that retro camera doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, and again, and you need to build cameras that's got a good, comfortable grip, so you can use bigger lenses comfortably. Um, you need a camera that you know it'll. At least the size, of like the 5600, where you know big hands can still use it. Remember, everybody in the world is not tiny little Japanese people, um, and you need to build cameras accordingly. Your full frame cameras also, uh, you need to make sure that big hands can use them. But anyhow, bad timing, I think, on this retro camera. It's not what you need, Nikon. You need to take care of business first and worry about impressing the old people last because that's who's going to buy that camera first time camera buyers will probably not buy that retro camera unless they oh it's key those people will buy it but it's a thousand I think it's supposed to be about a thousand dollars with a lens which is not terrible for a good high-end APS-C camera if it's a high-end APS-C camera that's another thing it needs to have the quality megapixels autofocus da, 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 it needs to perform and also anymore whatever you make we need that flippy screen uh, the, unless there's some problem with the design of the flippy screen for longevity you definitely need it uh, there's too many people doing videos um, vlogging uh, so anyway that's what we need so anyhow a little bit of a rant about I really, really think this new uh, ZFC is going to be kind of a bad idea. And Nikon needs to get back on track making what they need to make, what will make them a better company. So you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye. So,